Uh, we'll start with having the panel introduce themselves and maybe tell us a little about your book now or how you so you want to go start. All right, thank you. Good, good afternoon, good people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Frederick Noma Addison. I'm a, a native of Ghana. I've had the privilege of being in the States for 11 years now. I'm a journalist, a television producer. I last worked with Discovery Channel in Silver Spring. But in 2004, I launched a, a news organization, Africa, Africa, African Interest News Organization called AMIP News. Uh, I left Discovery in 2008, and we've been doing a whole lot of uh, media productions that relate to Africa, and it's distributed here. Uh, these two books, uh, an, a, an interesting way of chronicling America's relationship with uh, the United States. We began, well, I began with the Ghana book. It was launched in May um, at the Ghana Embassy by the current ambassador. Uh, it, 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 uh, we made its way to the Congressional Black Caucus Authors Pavilion. We got a personal letter from uh, President Clinton. Now, what it is is uh, a chronicle of the relationship between the United States and Ghana in pictures. So we dig into the, into the archives beginning from 1957 when Ghana gained independence as the first the black country south of the Sahara. So we see the whole independence thing and then we see uh, uh, Richard Nixon right there. And then the next photograph it's Martin Luther King and uh, Kwame Nkrumah and uh, Kwame Nkrumah and uh, President Kennedy, and so on and so forth. We go through the decades. It, it chronicles every important thing that uh, America ever did with, with the U.S. in pictures, and then I, I, I make notes and commentary. Now, the goal of this book was to introduce uh, an African country to an American audience or an international audience. And usually, you know, people are very critical. Africans are very critical of uh, U.S. media and, and, and says that uh, U.S. media is, does not do a good service in presenting the African continent to the American television viewers. So what this book does is it presents an African country in a way that the average U.S. resident or U.S. citizen can appreciate. I mean, the cover page is a picture of uh, the U.S. flag and the Ghanaian flag, and, and, and that's, the, that's, the, that's the theme of it. So it's uh, 50 years of uh, friendship and progress in pictures. It, it goes up and down. It goes up every, every, every important thing that ever happened. The same thing, this one for Nigeria was launched just on Friday. Nigeria turned 50 on Friday, October 1, 1960, is Nigeria's Independence Day. There are about a, a million Nigerian nationals in the U.S. alone. Uh, Nigeria has the most populous, this is the most populous uh, nation on the African continent, at least 160, 150 to 160 people. Uh, we, we took our time to do the same thing, 50 years of friendship and progress. The, the cover photo, it was taken in 1961 in July, uh, July 27th, and the gentleman holding the bash of Abraham Lincoln is uh, the first Prime Minister, uh, Abubakar Tafar Balewa. The gentleman next to him is the first uh, Minister for Health, Major Kutumi. And then the gentleman behind him is the first Minister for Information, Tewis Benson. Now, this photo is very interesting because, uh, now he was here on a state visit, and obviously visited the White House and President Kennedy hosted him. The, the two gentlemen have an interest, shared an interesting fate because a few years after this meeting, uh, President Kennedy was assassinated, mm -hmm. and so also uh, Nigeria's first Prime Minister, Tafar Balewa, in a military coup d'etat in '66, before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that is that is what this book is about. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting way of presenting an African country that you know that might be stereotyped in the media, and you take it and and, and you can appreciate it because there is a. Kennedy in it, and there's a Lyndon Johnson in it, and there's a Reagan in it, and there's a Carter in it, and there's a Bush Senior and Bush Junior in it. So that's what this these books about. This has about 234 
carefully selected photographs. Uh, we work with all the presidential libraries. Mm -hmm. This is something close to that. Uh, this took about nine months. Um, this took a little shorter because the, the Nigerian ambassador was standing on my neck to get it out for, in time for the <laughs> anniversary, and I'm glad we were able to turn it out. It was launched on Friday. We've got some very good people signing the back of these, uh, these boards, including President Obasanjo of Nigeria. I met him just last week in Atlanta. So that's what this books are about, and I hope it will be of interest. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, my name is Betty. Uh and I'm a first-time author. I uh, start by asking, has anyone here published a book? Besides you two gentlemen, obviously. <laughs> Have any of you published books? Have any of you ever wanted to publish a book? Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I thought about publishing books for 30 years, <laughs> and I guess my one message is, don't ever give up on your dreams, <laughs> because I thought about it for 30 years. It took me three months to write it, and three more years to find a publisher to publish it. <laughs> so it's, it's a, a long uh, procedure. But I'm so proud of this. Um, ABC is from Ghana, with love, and Mr. Parchment has already bought two for, his, for grandchildren and children in his life. Uh, if we had time, I would call on him to read it to you as a grandfather. Uh, what inspired me is that I have made uh, two trips to Ghana with my church. And in the front, I've got uh, a picture of the delegation of the six folks who went from Fredericksburg Presbyterian Church over to Ghana. And we went, we have a sister church in Accra, Oaks and North Presbyterian. And we went over to celebrate the um, dedication of their chapel. And this fabric that we're all wearing, the same fabric, is called Anniversary Fabric. And it has the picture of their church and the 30th anniversary symbolized on that. I am a literacy specialist for a Head Start program and have done that for 19 years. And in that capacity have set up a children's library, uh, a community volunteer reader program, and have set up a book giveaway program to our children for their homes, stressing to our parents that the first, they're their first and most important teacher in their children's lives, and the single most important thing they can do with their children is to read to them daily to assure their success in school. <coughs> so it was sort of natural for me to go with the format of ABC book, which I've done. Um, we took 2,000 photographs in the two weeks that we were there in 2005, I was there in also 2002 with the Presbytery of the James Group out of Richmond. And I credited my delegation friends because a lot of the pictures we all took the same picture. So I took the, the best one. But uh, again, it was um, three years of trying to find a publisher. And the publisher that I chose and that chose to do this for me uh, is Wayne Dementi. Dementi Milestone Publishing out of Richmond. And if you haven't heard of him, he might be soon because he has written and published the book Secretariat that you may have heard of recently about the horse. So he said Ghana and Secretariat have been his life for the last year. And the movie's coming out on Friday. And I happened to meet him uh, because he came out of retirement. The Dominey family's been in photography in Richmond since 1924. And he had the the family had retired this business. He had gone out of business and um, retired, but he came out of retirement to do my son's wedding pictures. <laughs> so I met him at my son's wedding because his son and my son are friends. And I asked if he'd meet with me because I had done this book. And he got caught up in it. And he said, I'm caught up in your enthusiasm because your love of Ghana is showing through. Mm -hmm. And I want to uh, share this with you. So we met, and five months later, I had a 1,000 books delivered into my driveway. Mm -hmm. And last May, we did the second publishing, and we've gotten 3,000 more books. And part of what I do with my literacy work at Head Start is, as I said, to give away books. We have, to date, given away 19,000 books to Head Start children mm -hmm. wow. for their homes. And last year, last fall, I gave away 800 of these books. The first 800 of the 1,000 we got, I gave away through collecting community donations, which allowed us to publish the book, pay for the first you know, 800, um, and then give the books away to Head Start Children. Mm. So we have now 
they invited me to the state conference uh, last spring, and I had one order from the largest Head Start program in the state of Virginia ordered 1,500 books for their children. And that paid for a second publishing before we you know, even ordered them. So to date, we've sold 3,000 books, and 2,500 of them are in Head Start children's hands and homes. So it's, it's been a joy. It's been um, an absolute blessing and an absolute joy. I've spent 30 years in education from preschool to community college level work and uh, feel that I've had many, many blessings in my life and that included in that is my two trips to Ghana. Uh, the people of Ghana are warm and caring and loving and we have to be very, very careful. I brought some fabrics um, in here. One of the pictures under K is Kente fabric and we have Eddie the Weaver, who made the Kente fabric. The beautiful fabrics that they make, we would comment when we go to a church service, you'd like something. Well, you had to be really careful because the next Sunday they would have made you a shirt or mm -hmm. made you a dress out of that fabric and given it to you mm -hmm. because they were just such generous, caring people. Uh, the first trip that I went over in 2002, we toured the mission fields. and. The poverty, I mean, we saw ladies that walked anywhere from two blocks to two miles with vessels of water on their heads to provide for their family for the day. And yet, when we got ready to leave, they came in our rickety old pickup truck that was overflowing with papayas and mangoes and pineapples and all of the produce that they had to give us, to give us. So we took it back to where we were staying, and there were other groups staying, and we shared the food with everyone that was staying in the facility where we were. Um, it's been an incredible experience, and uh, I would love to share it with you if that is something you would like for a grandchild, a child, uh, gifts for holidays, gifts for birthdays. It's a wonderful introduction to the country of Ghana for I wrote it thinking three to six year olds I have spoken to fifth graders who absolutely loved it and sat and took turns reading it around the circle and were just on the edge of their seats with it uh, I've spoken this is now my second time to visit with the college went to Mary Washington College and shared with them and I'm honored to be at Howard today and to be sharing with you um, I think that will will be about all we need to say. And uh, thank you for having me, Mr. James. Thank you.